Hey, 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 what's going on everybody? This is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I've got an awesome side patio toy hauler for you. This is the 2023 Road Warrior 4275. It is absolutely beautiful with the black and gray full body paint job. So this is definitely a high end luxury toy hauler, one that I think you guys really like. All the specifications, length, height, tank sizes, awning sizes, will be down in the description of this video. And as always, if you guys find some value in what I'm doing, if you guys like my style, consider hitting that like and subscribe button for future RV content. Make videos probably four or five days a week, and I'd love for you guys to be a part of my little growing community here. But uh, let's head again, let's head it right inside. Again, it's the 2023 Road Warrior 4275. Now I do have a 2022 version of this without the full body paint in stock and available. So if you guys are interested in what's like something like that costs, feel free to reach out to me. Not allowed putting the, uh, the pricing on here or the old dealership or Rooney could get uh, potentially fined for map pricing. But let's go ahead and jump right in and start showing it to you. First thing that I notice, you get a massive entertainment area. You get plenty of, you know, open flooring on this to roam around on a rainy day. But check out the height of that slide. I mean, I am six feet tall, so I'm not the smallest guy in the world. And my hand goes pretty much full extended, you know, with just making a fist. Pretty darn incredible. You'd have to be a giant for that to ever come into play to be an annoyance for you. I'm guessing probably somewhere around seven and a half feet. You're also going to see huge open windows, all of which are tinted, and they do open up to allow for a nice breeze. You're also going to get ah, the old Dracula shade, the night roller shade. So that's always a big time plus. Help block out some of the sun, regulate the temperature, and you know, in general, just keep some nosy eyes out. This is going to be one massive reclining sofa. So all of these kick up for the reclining feature. The two side ones though are going to have the power recliners with the USB port. And then you also get a little cup holder right there. And then in the center of these, you got the little plastic pull tab. So you pull that out, kick back, relax. You're having a good time. You can also sleep a couple extra people. Me personally, I like to lay down on the couch with my head kind of right there. So I love the TV placement on this. I think that's just a really nice spot for how I personally enjoy like to watching TV. Speakers on the Road Warrior, they are pretty darn incredible. I have no idea what that brand is right there, but those things get absolutely bumping. You're also going to see, you know, you got plenty of uh, zone one and two. It's going to be inside and outside. Electric fireplace, so pull, or geez, oh, Pete, I was doing the emergency exit, the pull, push, and pop. The electric fireplace there puts out 5,100 BTUs of heat. So in an area, you know, the size that this thing is, which is pretty incredible with the massive slide, that'd be more than enough to heat up the entirety of this area on a day where it's like 45 degrees out before you even have to consider, you know, pumping on the propane. A little bit of overhead storage. You got a loft over here, which I'll show you here in a moment. But this is, you know, one of the stars of the show. You got the, the side patio. Holds, I believe, 3,100 pounds worth of weight when you got the stabilizer down. You also have the metal, you know, bars, which is nice. But it's a really great place to sit back, play some cards, enjoy some of the nightlife. Maybe have the kids here and the adults in the back because you get two patio systems here. <coughs> I like where they positioned the speakers as well so you can really enjoy the nightlife right out here. Don't worry about this. We haven't quite cleaned it up yet. It just came in. You have a little mini refrigerator that's behind that door and a storage cubby behind that door. Uh, that little cooler will basically fit a uh, 24 pack of apple juice for you. There is going to be the old, uh, the old loft ski to sleep a couple extra people. And then I'll show you before I show you the kitchen, I'll go ahead and show you the garage. So bath and a half model, just a real small half bath right here. You know, good enough to kind of sit down, do your thing, kind of get in and out. It also unlatches right here and folds on itself, as you can see, to allow more room back here for the toy hauler section. You also got the Tough Flex flooring, stuff that you can really beat up uh, with the diamond plating wrap there, which is nice. Whole bunch of tie downs, there's gonna be two, four, and then I believe seven, and uh, nine, I think there's nine back here. I don't know. We can check that out as we move forward. 
Window, window, and window all open up for a nice cross breeze. You also have the vents to help suck out you know, some of the gas. A little utility sink right here, which is a big plus with some storage underneath and access to your plumbing. And then you have your rollover sofas, which I have up against the ceiling right now in kind of travel mode. Again, we just got this unit in, haven't really checked it out fully yet. But the rollover sofas, so you can either sit down and chill, put a little plate or a little table in between, and kick back and relax back here. Or as you can see, you can have it kind of in a sleeping mode with another queen bed that drops above it that goes right about nipple height for, uh, for a guy my size. Three Seasons Patio Door with the back, which I kind of set up halfway to show you what it looks like in stow mode versus kind of go mode, I guess. Uh, but wraps around the patio just like the other side. Spin it back around here. You got your own door. You're also going to see you have the old Sansui TV. And then you also get a little bit of storage right here, which is going to be, you know, maybe for some dirty boots or, you know, a helmet, something like that. Up on the ceiling, you also have dedicated speakers for back here. So one there and one there. And then you also get a drop in AC as well, which is nice. And then you got the dump valve. So instead of sending it down the track, you can open that up. It'll disproportionately push all that cool air, you know, right into here. Another outlet and then all of your controls. So your awning and then, you know, your lighting, your bed lift, all is going to be centralized in one place, which is always a plus. Sometimes they're kind of all over the place. I'm not a big fan of that. Even the door has a nice little aesthetic look to it. And then they also put this little tiny rubber little mat right there, which I think is a big plus to help keep out some of the, uh, some of the gasoline smells that you might be cooking. Another little look here, the living room. Man, look how big that couch looks. Pretty darn incredible. That is a snoozing couch if I've ever seen one. All right, so again, side patio, TV. Now let's show the kitchen. This is where things start getting a little bit more elegant, a little bit kind of newer with the times kind of look to it. I love the counters. I love the cabinetry. This is all new for 2023. Just looks super sharp. You also have two stools right here as well. So you can pull those out and flip them for some nice seating area. You're going to see you got yourself a little cubby. Oh, man, these things are stiff. Solid surface countertops. Babe, if you're watching, I love you. Here's the control for this main slide out and the awning. But you got kind of the U-shape kitchen, I guess I'll call it. So you get plenty of countertop space. You also get a nice window. Pretty good size oven in the Greystone, so cook you up some food, possibly even a chicken or two with the size of that. Three stovetop burner. Pretty cool little trippy design. I think that looks pretty good. And then you have your stainless steel undermounted bowl right here, the single stainless steel undermounted bowl. Uh, so you got plenty of room to do all your dishes. Little high rise faucet, hitting those dishes from all angles. There's the emergency exit, pull, push, and pop. Works much better on the window than the fireplace. And then you get plenty of storage, you know, all up and around. A little kind of little wine area right there, I suppose. Kind of like little mini cubbies. But check that out. I mean, for a toy hauler, that's pretty incredible storage. And then pretty much the same will go above the old microwave. Pendulant lighting's looking pretty sharp as well. Above the oven and where you're cooking. You got a little area with a little fan to help suck out some of the old steam or the stink. You have the Everchill refrigerator over on this slide too, and this is gonna be one of those smart controls. So if you were to click it, I got my battery pack hooked up now and I don't wanna turn it on so it doesn't drain it, but it'll show the temperature in there. You can also, um, I don't know what I, where I was going with that. I kinda of lost my train of thought. Uh, but it is a 12 volt refrigerator, so you can use it while driving down the road off a of solar, a jump box, you know, the generator, all that good stuff. You know, it's really nice and versatile, and it's going to be much more effective than your classic gas and electric that you see in a lot of toy haulers. Those things are becoming a thing of the past, and moving in is going to be this 12 volt, because you can use them in pretty much all the same scenarios, but um, they're way more effective. You know, the freezer section will actually keep ice cream frozen. It's definitely the higher end option of the two. Right here is going to be your fuse box. So if something's not working, make sure to check that little black box. It'll glow up for you. 
<coughs> AMS power controller right there for your inverter. Here's your other control center. So the Yeti pack, that's a nice feature to have. That's going to be your 12 volt heaters for more of your kind of winter usage deeper into the season and earlier into the season that you can use this. You can also check all of your tank levels. So you know gray one, black, fresh tank, battery even. You know, so all in one spot so you can kind of check kind of the health of your tanks, I guess. Water heater, both gas and electric, so that's great. Generator and the gen tank as well. So to kick the generator on, you're gonna hold stop or prime for about five seconds, then flick start should kick right on. The other awning and your slide rooms. This RV actually has uh, three awnings, that's pretty cool. Little window for a nice cross breeze. Again, it does have the old nightshade. Here's your control for your AC. And by the way, this unit has three ACs. There's another one right there and then one up in the bedroom that I'll show you in a moment. The bathroom is just a good enough size, you know, to be extremely functional and kind of move around. I also like how they have the dual entry in there, but the toilet is going to be on an angle, which is a huge plus. You know, I'm a bigger dude, like six foot 290, and, you know, typically I have a hard time in a lot of these RVs, but you can see I've got moving and grooving room. Another big plus, they actually put in a tub, so that is huge for me. I got a 20 month old daughter. Bath time can be a nightmare, especially if you're in an RV. So having this tub is fantastic. Not only can you kind of relax and, you know, plop them on in there, but you got a place where you can fill up just a little bit of water and make it a little bit more like home. You also have one of the fanciest shower heads I've ever seen in my entire life. So, <laughs> I mean, this thing is nuts. I don't know who came up with the idea to put these inside of an RV, but I need that human to come and do my remodel. One, two, three, and four shower heads. Got the old bowling gun right there. That's the part that pays the bills. Whoops, whoops. Shabam. Even solid surface down in the bathroom. That's a big time plus. And then more access to your storage and plumbing. Bedroom. You got a king size bed. Got a little window over there. You got a TV on the wall. I'm kind of hustling. I hear it drizzling. I need to get this bad boy closed up. But you have outlet, outlet, solar charge, or not solar charge controller, a charging station there for your cell phone. And then you got kind of like a little desk area. I imagine sitting on the edge of the bed, putting up a laptop, getting a little bit of work done. I think that would be, you know, absolutely no problem. And then two dresser drawers. And then right here is going to be a closet for some of your hanging items. But all right, I think that was about good enough here for the inside portion of this tour. Now I'll go around the outside, show you where everything is. Again, this is the 2023 Road Warrior 4275. I'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, so it's starting to come down a little bit. So I closed her up. I did lie to you. I'm not going to walk around and get wet. I don't know if my expensive to me equipment, mic and gimbal, uh, would get damaged by it, so I'm not going to risk it. But this was the 4275 Road Warrior, the 2023, with that fancy pants paint job. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. Hit that like and subscribe button. See you next time on a better day. See ya.